Stella Arabic Coffee Pot Painting. Hello, little artist. It is Mr. Rush and Miss Christina. Today we're going to be looking at the Dala, okay, which is an Arabic coffee pot. You might have one of these in your house. So I'm gonna break it down into some easy steps for you to draw, and then we will decorate it. So I have a thicker, or you can just use a regular white piece of paper. I'm gonna draw first with a pencil and then do some outlining with a Sharpie. If you feel confident and you wanna go straight for the Sharpie, go for it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the shape of the coffee pot. Okay, so it's kind of like the letter S and then it does an opposite thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna draw a big one. So I'm gonna start almost at the top, but I wanna leave room for the lid. So about right here. So I'll curve in and then back out and then back in. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm going to kind of make a twin, but opposite. <laughs> so I'm gonna curve in and then I'm gonna start to curve out like the letter S. Okay, but I want it to kind of be the same as that side. And then I'll come back in. Perfect. Now I'm going to connect the top with a straight line and I'm going to connect the bottom with a straight line. There are different shapes. You might wanna pull out um, your dala that's in your house and look at the shape of it. Okay, so the next thing is I'm gonna do the spout. You could do it on this side or this side. It's kinda of like a, a long, skinny triangle. So curve out and then come up some and then curve out again. And you want those to come to a point. It almost looks like a, a bird beak. <laughs> now I need something to hold this with, so I'm gonna come over here on this side. I'm gonna draw like the letter, like a letter C, but long, 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 long and skinny. C for Miss Christina. <laughs> or coffee, C for coffee. So I don't wanna just do one like ear or handle, I want to do two lines. So I'm going to come here and it's going to mimic. That means copy. The other line. Ta-da! All right, the last step is to add a lid on the top. So for the lid, you can do either like a triangle shape, you could do a curve. So why don't we just do a curve, kind of like a half moon shape. And then I can add a circle on top. And then I'm like a long, skinny, 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 pointy triangle. Now we get to add the details. Traditionally, traditionally dollars are made from bronze. Um, but now you might see them made out of silver or gold, but they always have um, designs that have been hammered into them, into the metal. So you can kind of pick the kind of lines or shapes that you want. So I think I'll go, maybe I'll do some wavy lines down here on the bottom from side to side. Maybe you um, like this crisscross pattern here. They kind of look like diamonds. Okay, but what you can do to make it easier, so first draw a line, and then I'm gonna draw like the letter X. So I'm gonna start here and go down. Start here and go up. And then I'm gonna connect my X's. So start at the top of the X, down, start at this X, the bottom of X and go up, down, up, down. Oop, and I ran out of room. So you might just have to 
do your extra one there. Perfect. I've added these um, helpful guides into the video. If you need to stop and pause the video to get some more ideas for your drawing, please do so. The next step is I'm going to outline with my permanent marker. Um, if you don't have a permanent marker, you can use an oil pastel. Um, I am going to be painting this, so just be aware if you use a regular black marker and then try to paint over it, it will um, mix together. But a permanent marker is permanent. It stays, it doesn't go anywhere. It cannot be erased. So all I'm doing with this permanent marker is anywhere that I have a pencil line, I want to trace over it so that the whole thing is outlined with a black permanent marker. Now I'm going to take an eraser. You might have a bigger one and I'm going to be a detective and I'm gonna look for any lines that I did not trace correctly or that did not get traced over with the black marker. Because all we want is the black marker to show. None of those pencil lines. So I am now ready to paint my Arabic coffee pot. And I'm gonna go for the yellows and golds to help me paint this in. Now, we have a special holiday coming up here in the UAE, National Day. So if you wanted to use, you know, green and red and uh, black, to, and the paper is white to um, celebrate National Day, you can, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use kind of like these goldy, yellowy colors. So whenever I use watercolor, I did spray this to make them nice and juicy. You can also use um, water and bring that over and rub it back and forth to activate the paint. And when I'm painting, I'm just gonna try my best to stay in the lines, the lines that you made. Now I kinda want it to look like my designs are um, have been kind of like hammered in here, like this is bronze or maybe mine is gold. So I'm gonna use a darker yellow to fill that diamond shape in in a minute. I actually discovered that you can just paint the whole thing yellow and then we'll go back later with the darker goldish yellow on top. And remember, this is your art project. You can choose different colors, um, so now I've painted everything this kind of golden yellow and I'm just using this uh, kind of a darker yellow to go back and paint inside of the designs. After you are happy with all of your designs and all the colors that you want, you're going to choose a color for the background. Just remember to be very careful because if two wet colors touch each other, they will blend together. If you really want them to, to stay apart, make sure that you let one part or one color dry first. I cannot wait to see what you make. Ooh, take your time, try your best, and have fun.